Hello guys, welcome to this video. I am so excited about this look. I am very sick. It's fine. Today's video is just like a catch up, honestly. Like, I've had so much happening over the last month. I wanted to quickly jump on here and kind of give a shout out to my small business. I have a jewelry business. I'm wearing my necklace right now. This is the Virgo necklace. I make beaded pieces. Um, I've also got gold pieces as well. The business is called Dreamy and it's my pride and joy. But if you guys are interested in checking out my store, it would mean so much to me. Stay tuned to how. I did this look because look at this. I really wanted to do like a life updates video with you guys and just kind of like update you guys on what's been going on for me while I try out some new makeup to try and fix my face right now. I have been through it this week, which is just great. It's wonderful. I am just really vibing it. But yeah, so we are going to do a little bit of magic on my face today, trying out some new products that I kind of haven't really seen that many people talk about that I've been really into lately. Okay, to start off today, I think I have this foundation that I've been really liking, but I feel like I'm too tan for it right now. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro filter you can literally see this is like the complete wrong shade for me I like this foundation it gives a really beautiful like velvety effect on the skin and it does oxidize so maybe it could work for me I swear the makeup stores just have the worst lighting i might mix it in with my process tinted oil foundation because this is just like my perfect color all around it's just like the most beautiful beautiful color for me so i might do that and see how that goes mm look i think we're just gonna have to make it work but i'm gonna use my fingers to just like brush it onto my skin <coughs> like i said i've been through it i had a video go viral which i kind of want to talk about a little bit um and it was all about my glow up this color oh no yeah i had a video go viral and it's just so funny because it's a video that like i almost didn't post because i just didn't know how it would be received i didn't know if people would like resonate with it i just didn't know and it ended up like literally changing my life i'm actually monetized now on youtube which is crazy i did not think i would get to this point in my youtube career because i just like never really intended like i didn't expect that i would be the kind of channel that would be able to get monetized it looks way worse on camera than it does in person in person it actually doesn't look too bad but yeah like i did a video on this glow up that i had this year where i lost like actually i've lost like 11 kilos now um but i completely changed my life my mindset everything and that to me just kind of re motivated me to take youtube more seriously because i realized that i was actually reaching people and i had the potential to reach people and make a difference in people's lives i'm just gonna fix my lip line up give me one sec yeah so dealing with the after effects of having a viral video and then trying to like recourse my channel to reflect the kind of content that people now want to see from me because I guess most of my audience now and most of you guys came from that video so you're kind of expecting me to make content like that and that was never really in the cards for me when I started my channel like I didn't really know what I wanted to do I knew that I wanted to share my experiences like as a small business and you know I used to make ceramics content privated a lot of videos because I just feel like I'm so different now and I didn't really resonate with myself back then like I feel like now i kind of have a bit more direction on my channel like obviously i'm doing a random get ready with me but i also still want to make content like this where i just sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys but i definitely think now when i do my vlogs or when i do my videos i'm going to have this aspect of wellness to it and psychology and health and fitness i think that's what people kind of want to see from me most of the requests that i get on my channel now are very health focused it is very hard to glow up it is very hard to change your body physically and mentally and people want to see people that have done it and have actually like gotten to that point and myself included so i understand why people want to see that from me because i lost so much weight i didn't use medication and that was really hard that's kind of what i need to talk about that's what i need to be for you guys is some sort of like i don't want to say inspiration but like i just know that as a consumer it's like so nice to see people actually share what they do and not just talk about it so i think that's going to be a goal of mine is to do lots more like vlog style content on like what i eat Which, honestly i'm not gonna lie like it's not exciting like i pretty much eat the same stuff every day i'm actually really excited because i have a video coming out in fact it might already be up because i'm planning on releasing three videos this week but i have a video coming up where i talk about the psychology of the divine feminine 
and like why it works on like a scientific level i'm so excited to share that with you guys because that mindset and the things that i talk about in that video are so useful by the way um makeup today i'm not really sure what i'm doing there's a lot of makeup that i have that i don't think i've used on this channel before i'm just using the mecca max contour stick in the shade deep i know this looks really dark but on the skin you can see like it's not it's not that dark let's do a check and see what my face is actually looking like in real life oh okay this actually looks so good in person wow i'm impressed I am impressed. Also, I love like adding this on my nose. I don't know why. I just like, it's my favorite step. It just ties everything together. I just realized I was giving you guys the finger. I'm really sorry. Yeah, so more life update. What am I doing <laughs> with my life? I am in a very funny stage of my life. Like I turned 26 in a month. I am not at all where I thought I would be in my life at this age, like at all. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in school. I was always such a creative person. And I feel like because of that, I just studied a few different things at uni. Like I never quite had like all direction until I started studying psychology. And then I realized how passionate I am about psychology. I decided to do a degree that is just the most confusing, complex degree in terms of career pathways. Like I love psychology, but unless you know exactly what you want out of it, it's really hard. Throughout my degree, I was quite certain that I wanted to do clinical psychology or neuropsychology. And then the more that I learned about it, I loved it, but also I knew that I didn't want that life. I knew I didn't want the kind of life where I was working in a hospital all day, um, as fulfilling as I know it would be. I'm someone who, I love traveling. I get fueled by being able to be creative and to have that part of my personality be available to me with psychology and like, science in general i really felt like i kind of lost that part of me a little bit which is really sad but that's definitely how i felt in the last like little bit of my degree so i had to really try and figure out what it is i actually wanted to do with my life and then last year i had a bit of an epiphany wait no it was this year oh, wow this year i had a bit of an epiphany and i was like i think that I still want to study and I still want to continue a psych, but I want to do something different. So I chose to do like people and culture. So I'm doing my postgrad in that at the moment, but then I also still have this huge part of me that wants to like be creative, focus on my business and like make that my life. Also, you guys, this makeup in person looks so good. I like, it looks so good. I've done my base. Um, I've been putting the products up, but this cloud set, um, in the shade. Roughly is my favorite thing ever. Like when I need to match my face to my body, I always use this. It is so beautiful. And I am going to bronze up my face a little bit more with the Tarte Park Up Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. And I'm just going to put this like on the high points of my face because it just looks best for me with my like round face. I want to make clear that I'm sick. I'm not actually going out. I'm not doing anything. I'm not seeing anyone. I am getting ready to stay in bed because I have a few videos that I am editing at the moment for you guys. I feel like I kind of want to use a little bit of this on my eyes. So I'm just going to get my finger and like kind of pat it in. Oh wow, I forgot how pigmented this is. It's really pretty though. I really like it. I just had a major coughing fit off camera. Um, I'm going to actually color correct under my eyes here with the Bobbi Brown um, color corrector in the shade Light Peach. I am acutely aware of the fact that i do not do makeup in like a normal progression so please don't expect that of me because i just do whatever i think looks good on my face i go with it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this is what is going on at the moment i actually really like this look i'm really happy with this use this concealer by ellis fast to kind of like clean up so not used to being this tan it's actually wild okay so now for an exciting part this blush that i have found you guys i don't even know how to describe to you how good it is it's the rms beauty blush in the shade pomegranate fizz i really wanted the shade sangria i think it's called but it was sold out which is devastating and that's more of like a ready orange color oh my god i just fully stabbed the blush <gasps> under my nails now i'm just gonna pat that in it's quite pigmented just keep this up here can you see that like look at that it just has the most beautiful color and the shimmer in it is so 
stunning it's not the kind of shimmer that just sits on your face like it blurs your skin the first time i wore this out i got so many compliments on my skin and people actually didn't believe me when i told them it was this blush like can you see that i have no filter like on at the moment this is what it's looking like i don't care that i'm super blushed up to the nines garbage truck just really interrupted my flow i'm just gonna be using the charlotte tilbury pillow talk mascara and i like this one because it really just like lifts the lashes so beautifully and i'm gonna kind of like have it go in this direction usually when i do my lashes i'll do like my doe-eyed little technique where i kind of brush these ones down a little bit and brush these ones up but for today i feel like the look is very lifted actually i'm surprised i've been able to talk in this video because i have not been able to like say a sentence without coughing all week i'm gonna be setting my under eyes with the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder i really love this so much if you want a super brightening under eye powder i probably wouldn't go for this this one kind of like mattifies everything and like it actually can like make your eyes look darker but Lately, I've kind of been loving the look of a more natural under eye and something that isn't too overly bright. Um, I feel like that's going to be a bit of a trend over the next few months. But see how, like, it just blurs the skin. Like, this stuff lasts all day. Like, when I go out, like, on a night out, I will put this on because I know my under eyes are going to be looking fantastic the whole night. So I like to pat this over my skin just to help like bring the colors together it literally makes your under eyes flawless i'm so sorry for all the noise by the way garbage man's out construction is out we're almost done so it's fine i'm gonna be going in with the rare beauty highlighter and i'm just gonna be putting this on oh are you kidding me are you actually kidding me look at this I use this very much my sister and i like bought this together because you know why not i'm so so obsessed with this i haven't tried this during the day yet i've only tried it at night and like oh wow that is so beautiful and i will not be going out anywhere to be able to show it off but it's fine i'm also going to put this like on my eyes a little bit as well just to kind of like make everything pop i hope that you enjoyed this makeup look and the random rambles that my brain came up with on this video because i just I'm really, it was all over the place, I'm sorry. So please also let me know what you want to see from me. I am really loving reading requests. I take everything into account, so definitely do let me know. Don't forget to like this video if you like this look, if you like the video in general, and please don't forget to subscribe as well. I have lots of videos coming out. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next few videos, probably within the next few days, so definitely keep an eye out for that.